Earlier this year, the Secretary of the Interior declared that the Colorado River would be in a state of shortage for the first time in 2022. So Arizona will take about an 18% cut to its normal Colorado River supply. And that will be um, passed on to the lowest priority water users in Arizona, which are all Central Arizona Project customers. And this will primarily impact Pinal County agricultural users. CAP will take about a 30% cut to its supply. Because of drought and climate change, we've, we've watched the levels in Lake Mead drop steadily over the last two decades and the hydrology in the in the last couple of years has been very disappointing. We saw this coming and the value of having a plan like this is that uh, we can see it coming, we know what's going to happen, we know it's gonna, who it's going to happen to and we can prepare. There are three shortage levels that have been defined and we call them tier one, tier two, and tier three. Tier one is the shortage level that we will be in in 2022, this 18% on the river and 30% reduction to CAP supply. Uh, there's a tier two and tier three, which is, lo which is lower still. We've been in tier zero, it's not a shortage, it's just a reduction for voluntary reduction for the last couple of years. If the levels in the lake continue to decline, we may go into lower tiers of shortage. Uh, so continued um, conservation that we have been pursuing for a long time is gonna be necessary to help get us through this. We can see deeper levels of shortages in the future if the hydrology continues to be as poor as it has been for the last couple of years. And of course, the lower that the lake declines, the less resiliency there is because there's just less water in the lake. Arizona has put away millions of acre feet stored underground to uh, replace the supply that, we're, that we are reducing from the Colorado River. Longer term, we are looking at desalination uh, or bringing in supplies um, from elsewhere. The immediate thing that we need to do is conserve. And then uh, uh, recovery and reuse, kind of in the medium term. And then finally augment, augmenting the Colorado River supply with other supplies that are available to us. So even with these cutbacks, the CAP Canal is this magnificent piece of infrastructure that goes over 300 miles from the Colorado River down to south of Tucson. Uh, our job is, is to keep this canal as full as possible and be a reliable water supplier uh, for central and southern Arizona. Uh, and we're not just here to provide water, we're here to provide information as well. To learn more, visit knowyourwaternews.com.